Welcome to the METS Lab video which will explain how to initialize an accelerometer for use in the field. A couple things are in order. Um, first thing we need to make sure is that we're actually logged into the system. You cannot initialize and um, uh, follow this video without being logged in um, with the adequate uh, security parameters. So make sure that you're currently logged in. Also make sure that you're on a machine that has the um, Act to Life uh, software which is currently loaded at the bottom of the screen here. It's actually in the background. So once you're logged in, go to the Lab Quick Links link on the right. Um, click that, and it will open up um, additional options for you. Go down to the final option, which is Browse Support Tickets. What that'll do is it will bring us to a report that has all of the current requests. Um, some of them are for accelerometers, as you can see here and some of them are for other things, but we're looking for an accelerometer to um, program and uh, make available for someone. I'm going to just pick this one right here. Notice that these are all links. Everything that's in blue is considered a link. So I'm going to go to this um, accelerometer request, and uh, in this case, it's, there is, it's requested by this user on this date and time. That's when the request was actually created. And uh, what we're going to do is to create um, an accelerometer, initialize an accelerometer for this person based on the details that are noted here. They need this to be delivered on uh, the, the 19th of May. So um, first thing I'm going to do is to grab the um, uh, title of the uh, subject, the subject's name here. Just do right click and hit copy. And I'm going to um, plug an accelerometer in. And when I do that, um, as you can see, I just brought up the, uh, the Act to Life uh, software from the background. You'll notice that I do have an accelerometer plugged in. The accelerometer is fully charged. We want to make sure that that's the case. And um, this additional information here was going to change. Um, so the subject name will change and the date and time that it's going to be initialized for will also just, um, change. So I'm going to hit the Initialize button. And um, I'm going to make sure that the, um, the epoch is set to 15 seconds. Sometimes it may have 60 in there. Make sure it's set to 15 seconds. I'm going to um, make the start time equal to the start time requested on the support ticket. In this case, it's the 19th of May. So I'm changing the start time here by hitting the drop down, making it for the 19th of May, making all times at 12 AM. That's basically midnight. And um, here, I'm going to paste in the, um, the subject number I copied earlier from the background page here. I'm going to hit OK, and this, this accelerometer will initialize. Takes a few seconds. Great. So you can see that this accelerometer will begin recording data at midnight on the 19th and it's, it asked me to remove the accelerometer from the USB port. I'm not going to do that right at this second. What I'm going to hit do is hit OK, and I am going to um, click this button here. What this will do is it will, it will just paste um, or copy this accelerometer number for me. I'm going to hit click that button, and I'm going to go back into my um, support ticket request and hit Edit. At this point, um, not much has changed. Um, I still know that, the, well, I don't know who the mentor is, but I still know that it was requested by this subject, I mean, by, by this uh, person in the office. I know that it's accelerometer, so that hasn't changed. What I'm doing is I'm scrolling down, I'm looking for the accelerometer assigned. So I just pasted, I just copied the link. I'm going to paste um, the accelerometer number here, and I'm going to notify the person that. Um, that was in the request. And uh, scrolling down, I'm going to hit Save. So basically, I've just modified that um, support ticket has been updated to include now the accelerometer number. Correct? I'm going to copy and paste again. I'm going to copy this accelerometer, I mean, this subject number. And now I'm going to click on the accelerometer that we just assigned. It's now a link. That'll take me to this accelerometer, the inventory listing for this accelerometer. I'm going to click the Edit button. 
and we have to change a few things. The status is no longer in, but now the status is out. The subject number is going to be changed to the current subject number. I just pasted that there. Who it's assigned to, in this case it was assigned to um, uh, Fame. And the person it was assigned to, I'm going to uh, look for her name, click it there. The date that it's supposed to start, now we remember that it was requested for the 19th. I usually give them approximately three weeks. So I'm going to go out to uh, June and make it uh, the 9th. And um, I'm just scrolling down to make sure there's, there isn't anything else I need to include here. And there is not, so I'm going to save this. So now this accelerometer has been assigned to this person. Okay. Um, as a quick follow-up, what I like to do, it's not necessary, but what I like to do is to send a message directly to this person. So I'm going to create a new message. Um, we knew, we, we uh, know who the person was that requested this. And I'm going to paste that, uh, ex um, that requested uh, subject number. And I'm going to say um, this unit is available. I can spell. And just I can either preview this if I made a mistake in my typing or something, or I just I can just send it out straight away. Okay? And that should be it.